Welcome to our special end of the semester edition of Brandon's Bistro. Lots to get to today. I'm Samson Timajani. And I'm Sydney Parr. Today we have two commentaries that will knock your socks off from the awesomeness. And not to mention the annual Thinespees Awards for students of Ricky Thine's sports production class. All that and more, but coming up. But first, here's Stephen Blackiston with a special message for the semester in review. Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Stephen's Sauna. And it's about to get steamy. This one's for all the bros and dudes. Get ready. First up is the Springdale native, Freddy Cruz. You're a solid dude, and even better, you're a bulldog. It's been great getting to work with you. Next, we got the brains, Sean Koenig. This guy has the fastest fingers this side of the Mississippi on the switcher. Sean, I wouldn't want anyone else to be my TD. To my fellow Missourian, Levi Hare, your shoe game is unparalleled. I love the level head you bring to the classroom and the studio. Then we have the man from the 713 himself, Samson Tamajani. Where to start? Your passion for improving your craft and style is clearly evident and it's infectious. Now for the guy who thinks every year is the Cowboys year, Zach McVay. While your thoughts on who America's team really is is misguided, you still do a great job as talent in the control room. For the next guy, who's, this guy is most likely to finish fourth in any competition. Of course, I'm talking about our producer in chief, James Morgan. Getting to work with you in class and at softball games for RSN has been a blast and I wish you the best as an Arsenal fan. Last and definitely least, what's up, Watsky? Drew, it's been an honor to get to work together in the studio and on the radio, not to mention locking down third base for me in softball. I look forward to working with you this fall. Oh, I think I might have forgot somebody. Good old Ricky Thine. On behalf of all the students, thanks for teaching us not to suck at what we do. It's been a surefire learning experience. And that's all. Thanks, Stephen. That was, that was a great message. <clears throat> Good stuff. Next, we'll hear about the highs and lows throughout the semester from Zach, Mary, and Kinsey. Take it away, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the final segment of Thine's Primetime. I'm your host, Mary Frockia. Today, I'm joined by Kinsey Freeland and Zach McVeigh to talk about the roller coaster that this semester was. To start us off, general knowledge. I think we all have a love-hate relationship with general knowledge, and I know I, for one, don't understand why Ricky expects me to know the names of coaches from 100 years ago. Kinsey, what do you think? I totally agree. It's pretty obvious that I don't know a coach from 100 years ago at Ohio State like for the basketball team. So general knowledge usually just makes me feel pretty silly because I see everybody else knowing all the answers. They're like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I'm like silent in the background. General knowledge can be tough, but I think that it really brings out everybody's personalities. Uh, our director, James, just didn't talk much the first three months of the class. And then the buzzers came out. and. He got competitive yelling at Ricky and yelling at Steven got a thousand questions and he only got five. So I like how everybody uh, meshes during general knowledge. So I like it. Things get heated though, that's for sure. Another way things get heated is when people have their phones out on their desk when class is starting. Ricky does not play games when it comes to electronics. <laughs> um, one of our producers, Miranda, was definitely a victim of those consequences. Another thing Ricky will do is he'll get in a whole heated argument with the entire class about, say, last week's game, and he expects us all to agree with what he's saying. He really wants us to be like, oh, you're totally right, like, that was all wrong. Which is weird, because he's such a strict on-schedule guy, so whenever he's okay with just discussing a game for 30 minutes, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, Ricky's just trying to give us his opinions most of the time, and I understand that, but one thing that I just don't understand is he tells us that he plays tennis and volleyball and he's a really good athlete, but then he just comes into class limping all around and something just doesn't add up there. All right, so enough about Ricky. Let's get back to the class. My most memorable moment had to be when Drew was my director and I was technical director and we directed a perfect show when we get to the end and Drew screams at me to fade the lower third when he's supposed to fade to black. And I've never been more stressed out at any other point in this semester than I was in that moment. 
Yeah, things definitely get stressed. My favorite moment, I think, was when Ricky had us all huddled up. Uh, he was giving us one of his coach pep talks, you know, and he was telling us, like, do we put too much pressure on y'all? And Brian said, yeah, you put too much effing pressure on us. And no one really knew what to do, but I just thought it was so funny that Brian had the courage to, to say that. <laughs> I, one of my favorite moments was whenever we got to watch Ricky's reality TV show, just because that class made his character pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny until Brian flat out said that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> we do know that uh, something we all had to learn throughout this semester is that Ricky really has no faith in us, especially <laughs> whenever we were about to FaceTime Fred Godelli because we proved ourselves to him time and time again, but he always thinks we're just immature and we're going to mess everything up. We didn't, though, that time. Mm -hmm. Regardless of that, though, I think this whole class is great. I agree, Kinsey. Yeah. Our class is pretty great. We could go on and on for days about the experiences we had in this class, but I guess you just had to be there. That's all the time we have today. I'm your host, Mary Fracchio, with Kinsey Freeland and Zach McVeigh. We'll see you next semester. Memorable moments, indeed. Next, we present another special, special message from Sydney Parr, this time for the girls. The girls of Ricky Thine's class, what a semester it has been. We've had some laughs, some fun times, and hard times, but most importantly, I've enjoyed getting to know each of you. First off, let me tell you about my girl Miranda. She's spunky, funny, and very kind. Not to mention she is a bomb twirler. She looks great on camera and always tells it like it is. Next up is my girl Hannah B. We've been homies since the third grade. She is such a fas fashionista, easily likable, and genuine. She can still swing a golf club like Stacey Lewis, and she constantly represents that Kayo. Now to Bailey Corwine. She is a definition of intuitive, hardworking, reliable, and determined. We haven't known each other for very long, but I have a feeling that one day I will say I know her. Bailey has a bright future ahead. Bubbly, passionate, selfless, and confident are just a few characteristics to describe Ms. Kinsey Freeland. Throughout this semester, I've noticed that she is a perfectionist, and I love it. It's going to be so exciting to see where life takes her one day. Last but not least, Mary Frakia. This girl is passionate, sincere, bright, sociable, selfless, and truly, the list could keep going on. Even though we aren't BFFs, I can tell you that she knows how to light up a room and put a smile on anyone's face. She's very interactive with Greek life and works hard to be great at everything that she does. To the girls of Ricky Thine's class, I'm so glad I got to know each of you this semester. Well done, Sydney. Inspiring stuff. Switching gears now to the one we've all been waiting for, the highly coveted Thinespees. Let's switch it over now, shall we? Thank you, Samson. I'm Hannah Bakalikas. Welcome to the Thinespee Awards. The first category we have are the class clowns, and the nominees are Miranda and Steven. And the winner is Steven. Next we have most likely to be a sports journalist, and the nominees are Drew, Samson, Stephen, and Sydney. And the winner is Drew. Now we have the nominees for biggest mess, Miranda and Brian. And the winner is Brian. <laughs> now we have teacher's pet, and the nominees are Mary and Sydney. The winner is Mary Frakia. The nominees for the most likely to talk back are Samson and Brian, and the winner is Samson. Last but not least, the most encouraging award nominees are Sydney and Zach, and the winner is Sydney Parr. That's all we have for today. Back to you, Samson. Well, Sydney, that was, was a lot of fun. Sure was. But that'll do it for this special edition of Brandon's Bistro. Apologies to Brandon Davis. We didn't have time for him tonight. That said, I'm Samson Timajani. And I'm Sydney Parr. We leave you tonight with a special tribute to one of our fallen queens, Gigi Filoni. In the eye.